The sneaker botting world is on fire with retailers and websites doing their best to stop the bots. Nike even released a post addressing the situation and saying that they will up their anti-bot security to the max and stop all the bots. And then soon after, foot sites such as Finish Line and Foot Locker said the same thing. And as a bot developer, I took that personal. And it, it became personal with me. In this video, I'm going to develop a checkout sneaker bot for one of the biggest foot sites in the world and see if the anti-bot security these websites claim to have will actually stop me. Now I could fail, so you have to see and watch what happens. So if you guys saw my last checkout bot video, you saw that I used Rabbit Puppeteer. And this one things will be a little more different because finish line, and I already got the product link over here, is a little more competitive and it has higher security on a constant basis. And in order to surpass that security, we're going to be using Puppeteer plugin stealth. And what this does is it basically masks your browser to look like a real user as best as possible. So this plugin was literally made to destroy finish line. size click add to bag and we add it to bag so now he's got proceed to checkout and then we will go to billing oh my goodness I spelled it wrong <sighs> all right so we mentioned the shipping area so now what we have to do you have to fill in all of these fields um, usually certain websites, they make it really hard to type in these fields. So you have to, like, you can't inject JavaScript into it yet. You have to type it out. So we're going to see how hard finish line makes it because they said they are just having a security game, right? So let's test it out right now. Guys, this is not my real address. So please do not come up here and pull up. Is you have to somehow be able to select the drop down right here. And you can do that through Puppeteer's select method, which makes everything really simple. Where you just do await, await page dot select, you pass in the selector, and then you pass in the value that you want to put for the drop down. So the selector, in this case, would just be shipping state. That's easy, right? Now, the mistake that a lot of people make is that right here, if you look at the drop down, you see, you know, Alabama, the entire state written out. But certain websites, while the text here might show one thing, the actual value is different. And to find the actual value, you have to open up the select. And you see the value is AK, like the abbreviation. So if I put in Alaska for for well, Alaska this won't work but if I put in AK it will because the value is AK while the text is Alaska the actual value is AK so that's what you have to keep in mind that's what you have to watch out for when you're trying to mess with these sites so for some reason our bot is doing everything super slow but I know why I'm in slow mode 200 so I'm gonna tone that down a little bit so our bot is way faster because at this point a snail could beat our bot. So we're gonna make sure it's a little faster than this because this does not cut it. All right, so we're at payment now. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to, you know, get the fields of each of these. And again, more select, so we have to watch out for those. Um, okay, so it looks like they didn't try at all to make this hard. So what sites like to do is they like to put documents within documents and these things are called iframes, right? So what Nike does, for example, is they put this entire field in the sub document that you can't access through Puppeteer. You have to do a bunch of JavaScript manipulation and all these, you know, weird acrobatics to actually fill out these fields. But what finish line is doing, what it seems like is that they're just saying, here you go, fill it out. So they gave very minimum detail to this payment section. The shipping page was harder, if anything. All right, so I was able to get all the selectors for all the fields right here. Um, it's very easy to do, it's not hard work. Like I said, you just drag it over, you highlight it. 
But now we actually have to fill in the values. And if I put in fake credit card info, finish line could want to block me. Two, they could just say, sorry, we can't let your transaction go through. And they may not even take me to the next page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick them by finding a fake credit card. And it's very easy to do. Um, obviously, I'm not condoning this to use in the real world. This is for testing purposes. All right, so don't try to walk around with fake credit cards, guys. So we copy this number. I uh, paste it right here. Let's copy this. Okay, so the month is May, right? So now we have to go to the selectors and see what's the actual value. Is it, let's see, it's just, okay, just so zero five, zero five. See, some, some people might just put five and it wouldn't work. So you have to put zero five. You have to match exactly what they do. For a year, they have, okay, it's 2027. All right, so our current script should take us to the end. It should take us all the way to place order which is what happens after you click review order. And then at that point, we click the button for place order and our bot works perfectly. But first, of course, you have to test it. Guys, okay, we're at the last step. I was not expecting that to work on the first try. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so Last step, we just have to click place your order. So let's do ID submit order. So we'll copy that. And then we quickly just do await page dot wait for. Let's make a like, quick two second delay. So theoretically, this should be the last step. And if you input your correct credit card information and you don't use a fake credit card, your order will go through. So I put a fake credit card number, so it really shouldn't go through but everything should work perfectly and we're about to test that right now. All right, it turns to review order. Place your order, it clicked it. All right, so if you put in your valid credit card info, your order would have gone through and would have worked. So we have successfully beat Finish Line Security, create a checkout sneaker bot for Finish Line, and you guys can use this for any website, apply the same learning, the same process, and you guys will be able to create your own checkout bot for whatever site you want as well. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to smash that like button. We just beat finish line. Be sure to check out my course. I give a full detailed walkthrough of how to create a checkout bot for Walmart and be an even stronger security system, as well as um, some bypasses, all that stuff. Be sure to check that out. And be sure to click my free month of Skillshare Premium that you can use to watch my course as well. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.